Welcome. Let's begin by dragging in a picture background. Then right click to crop it to fit and extend the duration to 20 seconds since I'm working with 10 pictures. After that, navigate to the effects section, find the vignette radius effect and drag it onto the image. Click on the effect and increase the radius to 100 by sliding it forwards. Go to the media section, drag in a picture, click the crop icon, choose 16.9, select pan and zoom, adjust the grids, and click the switch icon for start and end, then apply. Now, go to the effects section, search for the border effect, drag it to apply, then click on it and adjust the border size to seven and the blur to two. Next, go to the image section and scale it down to 60. Then, scroll down to apply a drop shadow, set the angle to Mijan 35 and select black as the color. Go to the animation section, select preset motions and scroll down to apply the flip up one animation as demonstrated. Right click to copy, move the playhead forward by one frame, then add a video track and paste it as shown. I highlighted both, right click to copy, move the playhead forward by one frame and paste it. Since I'm using 10 pictures, I repeated the process of copying and pasting each picture with a one frame interval as shown. Now I have 10 pasted pictures. Next, highlight all the pictures above and drag them to the end so they align with the background picture below. Move the playhead to the end of the first picture, then count six frames backward and move the playhead there. Split the second picture at that point and delete the extra portion as shown. Scroll up once more, then move the playhead six frames back. Next, split the third picture and remove the extra part as demonstrated. Continue this process for each picture until you reach the last one at the top. To replace the pictures, go to Media, then press and hold the Alt key while dragging pictures down to swap them on the timeline. Continue this until all the pictures are replaced as shown. Let Preview. I locked all the tracks, then moved the playhead to 309. After that, I went to Media and dragged a pin picture I downloaded from pixabay.com into the timeline. Click on the picture, then set the scale to 13. Scroll down to adjust the rotation to 24, and set the position X and Y to 538 and 278, respectively. Then preview the changes as shown. Further extend to match the duration below. So I unlock all the tracks, then preview. Lastly, go to Transition, then search and drag down Dissolve Transition at both end of the pin picture above, then reduce to 20 seconds, and click to apply it to all. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Your support keeps Filmora Banky going. Don't forget that the link to the template with multiple pictures is in the description. Have a great day, and thanks again.
try to hide.